Well, one of the seats still in doubt is Victoria's final spot in the Senate, and it's a three-horse race. In contention are family first Senator Stephen Fielding and long-time Liberal Senator Julian McGorran. But as Emro Sullivan reports, they both may be pipped at the post by the little-known Vice President of the Democratic Labor Party. John Madigan is a blacksmith from Ballarat. He's restoring gates for the local botanical gardens, but soon he could have to find time for federal parliament in between jobs. Oh, it's uh, quite surreal at the moment. John Madigan is the vice president of the Democratic Labor Party. He says many people find it surprising it's still around, but he believes the party's fundamental values are still relevant today. It's, you know, for families, for workers, for community and for life. Currently, there's only one elected member of the DLP at any level of Australian politics. That's Victorian Upper House member Peter Kavanagh. We have an extraordinary legacy in the DLP. We were formed by 50 people, parliamentarians in Australia, giving up their seats. With around 70% of the votes counted for Victoria's sixth and final Senate seat, John Madigan is in a tight race with Family First Senator Steve Fielding and Liberal Senator Julian McGorran. Senator McGorran has had another close call back in 1987 when he was up against former union heavyweight John Halfpenny. Irony of ironies, I won that election against the Labor Party, against the Communists too at the time, uh, with DLP preferences. Whether or not he makes it to the Senate, John Madigan says his campaign has sent a message. It's far from dead and buried and the, uh, the true believers are still out there. The result may not be known for a fortnight. Emma O'Sullivan, ABC News, Ballarat.